So we're going to look at how to do an empirical formula determination uh, based on when we have a percent composition. So a sample containing 71.5% uh, carbon, 6.7% hydrogen, 4.9% nitrogen, and 16.8% oxygen is found. What is the empirical formula of the sample? So when we have percentages, normally what I do is I assume 100 grams. So what that does for me is it makes the calculations just one less step I have to do. So 71.5% becomes 71.5 grams, 6.7 grams of hydrogen, 4.9 grams of nitrogen, and 16.8 grams of oxygen. So I'm going to try and do all four of them at the same time as we go from left to right. So what we're going to do is we need to convert, the, convert them to moles. So one mole of carbon is 12.01 grams of carbon. One mole of hydrogen is 1.01 .01 grams of hydrogen. One mole of nitrogen is 14 grams of nitrogen. And one mole of oxygen is equal to 16 grams of oxygen. We can't, use, we can't really create an empirical formula from grams because each atom weighs um, different amounts. So we need to go to moles. So we just kind of go through and calculate the 71.5 divided by 12.01 is 5.953 moles. 6.7 divided by 1.01 is 6.634 moles. 4.9 divided by 14 is 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.35 moles of nitrogen. It's a really bad three. And 16.8 grams of oxygen is equal to 1.05 moles. So one of these has to be present in the smallest amount. So what we do is we divide all of them by the same number, and we pick the smallest number, which is the 0.35. So we're going to divide each of them by that. So obviously that one's equal to 1. 5.953 divided by 0.35 is equal to 17. 6.634 divided by 0.35 is equal to 18.9. And 1.05 divided by 0.35 is equal to 3. And we'll say that's approximately equal to 19. It's too, we're not going to have to worry about multiplying by any coefficient. So we have our three, sorry, our four compounds, how they are present. So C, H, N, O. Carbon usually goes first, hydrogen usually goes second. There is um, sort of an order that's expected, but it really doesn't matter when you're doing these. 17, 19, 1, and 3. So C17, H19, N03 would be my equation. Now, to s just so we get into this idea um, as we move forward, we should calculate the formula weight of this. So I have 17 carbons, 19 hydrogens, and 12.01 is the weight of carbon, and 1.01 .01 is the weight of hydrogen. So as we look at the formula weight here, 17 times 12.01 plus 19 plus 1.01 .01 plus 14 plus Three times sixteen 
is 285.4 U or 285 grams per mole if we want a molar mass. So the empirical formula is just the smallest whole number ratios of the actual atoms and how they're arranged. We have to do a completely different experiment to get molecular weight. Um, and when we get these questions, it says the molecular weight is 285.4. So what we're going to do to determine what the formula, the molecular formula is, is we take the molecular weight given, so there it is, and we divide it by our formula weight. So that's 285.4 grams per mole, keep the same units, divided by 285 grams per mole, which is approximately equal to 1. So the fact that this is equal to 1 means I'm going to multiply this whole expression by 1, which means that the empirical formula and the molecular formula are the same. If this number wasn't equal to 1, let's say it was equal to 2, I'd have to multiply every subscript by 2. So for example, it would be C34, H38, N2O6. And that's how we do empirical formulas.